Hey, welcome back. We're going to look at some proofs this time. But before that we do that, let's review a little bit our postulates. We have side, side, side. We have side, angle, side. We have angle, side, angle. And we have angle, angle, side. And then in the last video, we attached hypotenuse leg, which we said could only work in a right triangle. So when we have a right triangle, it's going to be the right angle. It has to be a right angle, and it has to be the hypotenuse, and then one of the two legs. It doesn't matter which one, one of the two legs, okay? So it's a special case of angle, side, side, okay? What we're going to look at in this video is we're going to look at what do we do with these when we're working with proofs, okay? All right, so when I do this, start this proof, I'm going to start with making my table, statements and reasons. And then I'm going to start with, when I see given, they've just given me a picture, okay? I can't immediately go to saying I have congruent triangles. I have to prove that I have congruent triangles so that I can prove I have congruent parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is just look and see what is given to me in the picture, okay? So what information have they already given to me in the picture, okay? The first thing I can see is that this HE, segment HE, is being marked congruent to segment EF. So segment HE has a single tick mark on it, and so does segment EF. So it's given to me in the picture that these two are congruent. HE, or given. Okay? Let's see what else was given to me in the picture. Okay, in the picture, I can see that angle D is the same as angle G, because they have the arc marks on them. So angle D is congruent to angle G, given by the picture. Okay? Now, I know I need more than that to prove these triangles are congruent. There's no just angle side congruence. Okay? So I need to see what else I have in this picture that I could talk about being congruent. Remember to always look for reflective sides and vertical angles. So I see here I have vertical angles. So I know that this angle here is vertical to the one right underneath it. Now I can't just call this angle E because there's really four different angles here, right? So I'm going to have to be more specific to call this top angle. I have to call it angle H E D or I could call it D E H, either one as long as the E is in the middle. So angle H E D and and then the angle underneath it I can either call it G E F or F E G either one I'm going to call it F E G they are vertical and that is given to me in the picture okay or we could say it's the definition of vertical because they are across from each other, and angles that are across from each other are vertical. So then we can use the vertical angles theorem that tells me those angles are congruent. Angle HED is congruent to angle FEG using the vertical angle theorem that states vertical angles are congruent. Okay, so now I've said the angles are congruent. I can circle it in here. And now, look what I have. I have two angles and I have a side. So that means I have enough to say these triangles are congruent. My two angles and my side, I can say these triangles are congruent. So my first triangle, I'm going to call it triangle, let's go HDE. Why not? And I'm going to say it's congruent to triangle. If I started at H, the angle that's not marked, right, I'm going to start at F, the angle that's not marked. 
And then from H, I went to D, so I went across to the single marked angle. So from F, I'm going to go to G. And then I ended at the vertical angle E. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to put over here. It's going to be one of my postulates, but which one is it? Okay, so when I look, which one did I use? I have two angles and a side, so it's not this one. That's three sides. It's not this one. That's two sides and an angle. So it's one of these two, right? Two angles and a side. My segment is not connecting the two circles, so that means it's this one. It's angle, angle, side. So the reason I can say these two triangles are congruent is by angle, angle, side congruence. Okay? So now that I have said my triangles are congruent, remember in the last lesson we talked about CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So I have congruent triangles. Look at what I'm trying to prove. I'm trying to prove that FD and F, or HD and FG are congruent. So HD and FG are both the first letters. That means they are corresponding parts. They are in congruent triangles. So that means they are congruent. HD segment is congruent to FG segment. Again, we can never use CPCTC until we've already proven our triangles are congruent. Okay? All right. We will do a second proof in a second video. All right? Thank you so much for watching.